It's my birthday today. All right, so in his book, Atomic Habits by James Clear, James talks about a lot of stuff. Identity-based habits, improving 1% per day, compound interest, and other stuff like that. The most important thing for me, the bit that makes it atomic, in my opinion, because he sort of uses, he talks about other things making it atomic. But the, for me, the, there's one reason. It's that if you want to do something every day, do the atom version of that thing. Do the most, the smallest unit of that thing. So if you want to exercise every day, seven days a week, don't try and exercise properly, like 30 minutes a day or an hour a day, or go to the at gym for two and a half. No, 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 no. Do two minutes every day if you want to do exercise every day. And it gets you into the habit of doing it every day. And it can just be the tiniest thing. He even just says, get your gym clothes on. And then that's it. Don't go to the gym, just get your gym clothes on. And make sure you do that at least, at least that every day. Sometimes you'll go to the gym. Sometimes you'll do more than two minutes, but do at least that thing. So relating it to my chess, atomic habits for chess. I am trying to think through every time I'm gonna make a move, what checks, what captures, what threats does my opponent have against me before I make my move? And I need to be keeping a real a tally of all the of all the stuff going on in the in the position, all the relationships between all of the pieces. But I can't do that. I'm terrible at that. I I just today played a game where I missed an important check twice. Like I just didn't see it. And it was obvious, like, yeah, the queen can give me a check. Most checks are pretty, no, maybe not most, but a lot of checks are pretty obvious. This one was a particularly obvious one. The queen just landed on a square. It wasn't even a capture. It was just, there it is. That's a square. It gives me a check. And now I'm forced to move. In this case, I was forced to move. But you're forced to do something because the checks are the most forcing of moves. So I'm not trying, I'm not going to try and do it all. I'm not going to try and do checks, captures, and threats in every move. I'm going to try and do the atomic habits version of that, which is just checks. I am going to, from now on, on my move and my opponent's move, well, on my move, because I'll be thinking about my checks and my opponent's checks on my move, I'm going to try just to say, do I have any checks? And count them, if I have more than one. And do, does my opponent have any checks? And I will count them as well. That's all I need to do. And I'm going to stick with, sit with a piece of paper every game, be that, I'm not going to be, play, being, be playing blitz games anyway, so rapid games or classical games. And I'm just going to make a tally every time I do that job, which is check for my checks and my opponent's checks. And then I will judge how well I've done in that game solely based on how many tallies I have versus how many moves were made in the game. So if I make 30 tallies and it was a 40 move game, I get a score of 75% for that game. That's it. Maybe you think this is a good idea. If you do, try it yourself and then let me know. And maybe I can stop screwing up in the most basic way so frequently. Because it's so frustrating to be playing a decent-ish game and then just miss a check and think, oh, well, if I can't see that, I'm not going to be able to win. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to continue an attack or, or do anything in this, in this game because it's, I'm missing quite low-level stuff, like down here. Okay. I hope you're very well. Just a quick one for today. I will speak to you soon. Bye!